If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use code IHAS for 5% off at checkout. I'm actually giving away a £50 PSN or Xbox gift card over on my Twitter. So click the link in the description to go to my Twitter. And you just need to retweet the tweet and follow. The winner will be now in probably about a week. It's an early Christmas present and another thank you for 40,000 subscribers. Hey guys, Ice Carrot here and today I have an absolutely insane sniper filter to do with the latest marquee matchup. So if you want another sniper filter to do this marquee matchup, make sure to slap a like on this video. Come and shoot for 400 likes on this video for another sniper filter. Maybe tonight or it will be out tomorrow. And no, this video isn't clickbait. I'm going to show you proof in a bit. So if we actually take a look at the new marquee matchup, these were actually the ones I said that got leaked and it is the same teams that got leaked, they just slightly changed the challenges. So you have Melbourne City versus Melbourne Victory, Man City versus Arsenal, Everton Liverpool and Bayern versus RB Leipzig. So the sniping field in this video is to do with this first game and it isn't looking at the Melbourne players, it's looking at the Hyundai A-League players because you need 11 players from that league. You're probably thinking, what, you're just going to search all the players? No. If we look at this formation, there's sort of two things which stand out. There's the CAM and the CDM. And the CDM is the position we're going to be looking at to snipe. And literally, this snipey field is absolutely insane. Last night, I made 50k in probably about half an hour. It might have been an hour, but I actually got sniping banned, so I couldn't go for the full hour. But I made 50k in an hour. It's really, really easy. And the prices have actually gone up. So if I would have waited, I would have made even more profit. So if we look at the minimum buy now of a CDM in this league, you can see it's about 2.8, 2.9 thousand coins. And this isn't just like bronze, silver. This is every single card, every single CDM in this league. The minimum buy now is 2.8k. So all you need to do is search about 2.5k or lower, get sniping, and you will pick cards up for 200 coins and you'll list them up and make a 2.5k profit per card. It's actually that easy. So 2.5k. I may have completely missed that one up on the snipe. You didn't see that. Next card is ours. That's that's the same. That, that's the same card. We're back. <laughs> Next card will be ours. They get listed up really frequently. You just have to be quite quick to pick them up. So you see there, I missed out on that card. You have to be pretty quick on the snipe. But I'm just warming up. We're getting into the swing of things. So we're going to snipe here. You see, and the card will pop up in a matter of seconds. You just have to wait a little bit for someone to list up a card. And I'm doing this like just as I got home from school. So in a couple hours, when this video is up, there should be a lot more cards listed. So we picked up Eulily for 2,000 coins. All we need to do, list them for 2.8k. We'll sell them instantly right there, like 600 coin profit after tax over than that. And that is, that is the whole method. This is all you need to do. I will note, this is on PlayStation, Xbox, the prices may be different. As long as these cards are going for over 1,000 coins, the sniping filter will still work. We picked them up for 2.5, but we sell them on at 2.8. 200 coin profit there. This sniping filter is so, so good. So I still recommend, before you try out this filter, check the minimum buy of all CDMs in the league. So that card there, that would have been a 1.2k profit. And I, I will pick up a card for 200 coins, either live or I'll show you the one I've picked up earlier. So 2.5, that's actually a glitch. Those two are both old glitch cards. So I'm going to head over to my transfer list. And let's say I pick this one up. So those two cards sold instantly. But this card here, 2.2k. I can list it up for 2.8k. About 500 coin profit, not too bad. But this card here... I wasn't recording, but I picked them up for 200 coins. So I can list this card for 2.8k right there. And that's a 2.7k profit. And that's just under a 2.7k profit on a single card. But that is how easy this method is. And I'm going to show you some clips now from last night. So you're probably still thinking, I know you can pick up some good cards on the snipe, but can you really make like 50k an hour? I'm going to show you some proof now. So you can see at the start of this clip, I just sold them some cards, and this is a little sort of hint to my train to 1 million. So you can see in this clip, I have 850,000 coins, 854 to be specific. And now I'm going to literally show you a really quick speed up of me listing up a load of cards, selling on a load of cards, and let's just say you'll see my coin total rise up. So in this first clip, you can see we're down to 827,000 coins, and we picked up a shed load of cards on the market. At this time, I was only actually selling them for about 1.9 thousand coins. And there's so many cards you see we're just flying through it with a massive, massive speed up. So these cards are all getting listed up like fine and dandy. I basically just sat there sniping, 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 picked up all of these cards to send onto my transfer list. And then I listed them all up at once and they basically all sold on instantly. So here you can see the first batch of cards did sell on. And off that we're up to 872,000 coins. 
So not including like the cost we paid for the players, we got 50k off of those cards. Really, really nice. And now you can see in the next clip again, we're just buying some more cards while we're listing them up. So we're down to 832,000 coins again, listing up a load more cards. And I just did this last night. The method will still work now. You can make so, so many coins. I was thinking of just keeping it to myself and like getting to that 1 million before releasing it. But I'm just going to put this method out to you guys. It is so, so good. So easy to pick up. So many cards that are listed and the profit is just mad. So all of those cards got listed up. And as you can see in the next clip, 30 cards sold on. And I actually had some more cards to list up straight after. So you see all of these cards do sell on. I'm scrolling through them. And now in the next clip again, we're listing up more cards. I think in this batch I got like 20 cards. Basically, whenever I went to list up cards, I tried to get at least 20 cards, like about 20 to 40 cards to list up at once. So you can see here, I'm picking them up for like 1,000 coins, listing them for a while at 1.9k, making near 1,000 coins profit per card, which is absolutely mad. And then in the clip after that, you see me listing up even more cards. And then finally, at the end of all of that, you can see right here, we look back, we're at 912,000 coins, and all of those cards had sold on. So we started with 554,000 coins, we ended with 912. It's actually near, nearer a 60k profit, but we'll happily take that. There's proof that I can make 50k, and if you're wondering, like, it isn't in an hour, well, I get sniping bans, and you guys probably get sniping bans as well. So I don't really think I could have stretched over to an hour unless I was really lucky. But the reason why I ended the trading right there was because I had a sniping ban. But we're back now. We can do some live trading. Let's get into that. So I'm just going to quickly check the minimum buying out again. We've got 2.7, 2.6, 2.8k as well. That's probably still what we're going to be selling at. And then we'll have a quick check at 2.9. So yeah, we want to sell our cards still at 2.8 thousand coins. I'm going to actually search 2.6 because that's still a deal if we pick one up for that. So we're going to search here 2,000 coins. I was really slow on that. So we missed that card there. But we're literally just going to keep sniping. I probably won't cut this too much just because the cards get listed up quite quickly. And to be honest, unless I like mess up or like have to do login validation, I don't really think I have to cut too much. So we're going to get sniping here. And where are the cards? Come on, give me. Here we go. Here's our card. 2.6k. We picked him up. I don't even know what your name is. Bratan. We're going to list you up for 2.8 thousand coins. And I know some people in the comments are probably saying, why are you listening up? Why don't you check his price? He might go for a couple more coins. And yes, I know. Most of these cards, the minimum buy them might not be 2.9 thousand coins. But you pick up so many cards, like in the time it would take to check the player's price, you could have just picked up another card and that would probably cover the cost. I guess if you're like, so have some crazy memory and you could remember the player's prices, then I would recommend like noting down what their individual players are worth. But at the moment, like how it is, you pick up so many cards live with this, you may as well just list them straight up for 2.8k. They sell on instantly instead of really checking the price. But say you're not like as quick as a sniper or you're not picking up as many cards, you might want to check the player's price before you list them up because the majority of the players will be worth more than 2.8 thousand coins. Especially if you pick up like one of the Melbourne City or Melbourne Victory players, they will be worth a lot more. So you can see here, we're basically just picking up the cards for 2.5 thousand coins listing them for 2.8k making about a 200 coin profit roughly around that after tax and that is just how simple it is and you just have to wait at 1.8k there that is a nicer profit that's about a 700 coin profit pretty decent there but you just have to wait and eventually you will see that card which gets listed for 200 coins and you have to be on that snipe but you easily pick it up and if you pick that up you're set in the profit to be honest you're gonna make like a 2.5 thousand coin profit and as you can see here I've only missed that very first card, and that was because I messed up on the snipe. Every card I've actually probably sniped, I have won so far. And that is just how easy this trading method is. I guess when you go to try it, quite a lot of people might be trying this method, but it just depends. The people battling for it will just be the viewers in this video. And that's why I always tell you guys, if you turn on notifications on my channel, next to that subscribe button, press that bell, you'll get a little notification when I upload a video, so you can be the first to these trading methods and pick up as many deals as I am live right now. Here we go, another one, 2.5k. And we actually missed one. Next car, 2.6k. I'm literally running out of breath right now. 2.6 thousand coins. We list it up for 2.8k. List that card there. And it's it's just so, so easy. I don't, this is probably one of the easiest sniping filters I've actually shown so far. And I'm going to make the most of it while this marquee matchup is still here. Just because these marquee matchups, they're not here forever, remember. They're only here for three days. And it's already nearly been a day when you guys are watching this video. So you need to make the most of the filter while you can. 
and I will be bringing you another one if this video does well. So there, we missed out a Yuli for 200 coins. We could list him up for 2.8k. Could have been a 2.5k profit right there. But we're going to keep sniping. I'm going to try and get another card for maybe under 1,000 coins. Once we see that, I'll be happy if we manage to pick it up. And yesterday, to be honest, since people didn't know about this uh, marquee matchup or the players rising in price, a lot of cards were being listed up for like 200 coins, 400 coins, things like that. But now the market has sort of shifted a bit, but you can still make the profit when you're picking the cards up for about 2.5k and you list them for about 2.8. While I'm actually sniping, I want to say another thank you for 40,000 subscribers. So I said it on Twitter and I just want to, it's just really crazy to be honest, the amount of support I've had since I've come back to FIFA at 17. It's just been mad and I guess the next goal is 50,000 subscribers. Oh, I didn't mean to send another transfer list. I'm actually going to go over there now. So yeah, the next goal would be 50,000 subscribers. I'm not too sure when we'll hit that. But my aim for this year actually was to get 30,000 by the end of the year. And we've hit 40k. And this is even before Christmas. So I guess it's a Christmas present come early. Which is mad. 50k by the end of the year. I don't really think it'll happen. But we'll hit it mid-January sometime. So you saw all of those cards have sold on live. These two cards will sell on. Like, that card's already sold on if I press back. And I guess one of the other cards is just waiting a couple of minutes. And then it should sell on quite easily. We're going to pick up one more live snipe. Here we go, 2.6k. I was actually really starting that snipe as well. I was surprised I actually managed to pick it up. So we'll list them up for 2.8 thousand coins. There we go. And on that note, I'm going to end off the video. Remember about the giveaway which is going on on my Twitter. I'm just picking up another snipe while I'm saying that. So remember about the giveaway that is going on on my Twitter. There's a link in the description, second line. And it's a £50 either like Xbox, PSN or maybe like Steam. Just a £50 gift card giveaway for you guys. A thank you for 40,000 subscribers and a sort of Christmas present as well. The winner will probably be announced in a week's time, maybe Christmas Eve. Christmas Day will be a bit late, but probably a week today or on Christmas Eve. So make sure to enter that. All you need to do is click the link in the description, retweet the tweet, and follow me on Twitter so I can DM you the code. I'll ask you what code you want, the winner. And um, yeah, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on my next video.